let's get into everything. So, previously, the group of you have come across a new compatriot by the name of Vishaya, who's agreed to join with you on this foray uh, underneath the desert oasis city of Akkad. As you delved down uh, and through the massive rift that one of the mine shaft boreholes had inadvertently burst through, started following semi-natural appearing tunnels. A few things stood out to the group of you almost immediately. Um, sound did not travel very well in this space, uh, contrary to what you would have expected with all of the hard surfaces. Uh, the grounds and walls are covered in some still living, some dead uh, types of lichens, uh, very tough mosses, some fungi. And parts of these passageways, as you explored, seem to be walls made out of crystal. Seemingly, if you could get through the crystal, to another passageway. You started exploring, and found an underground water source, uh, this flowing uh, river of sorts. Uh, following it to a more still pool uh, that seems to be slightly higher in elevation compared to some of the other spaces that were fast flowing. Uh, the eagle eared amongst you heard voices speaking. Uh, Dunnan waded out into the middle of the water to try to get a view on everything else that's going on at the, at the same moment, and the group of you were assailed by more of these draconian entities that you had uh, encountered previously, although these were different. Uh, these stood close to nine feet tall, hulking with wings, and were anything but friendly to the group of you. Handily, during the fight, you were able to dispatch them, fight it, some of you using the water cleverly to dodge out of range of attacks and line of sight, and risk getting entangled into the seaweed that holds you to the bottom of the water if you're not careful. Deciding this particular direction of path was not opportune at that moment. She decided to circle back the other way, follow the water along, and found a dead-end beach with one of these crystal walls. Uh, the sight through the walls seemed to be some type of rest area. You saw cots. You saw uh, things that you would associate with uh, a barracks of some type. And through the use of uh, the silence spell and some heavy blows of the hammer and a few castings of shatter, the group of you broke through the crystal wall and set about exploring these barracks. Checking chests uh, scattered around the area. You found a series of, well, mostly moldy and inedible rations, uh, but also sets of tools and equipment and very basic things, but all in relatively pristine condition. Never used, you presume. Looks like someone had just purchased them from a shop yesterday and stuck them in chests down here. Um, it was this discovery that maybe set some alarm bells off. Um, but it might have also been the gelatinous cubes of ooze that dropped onto three of your heads at this instant. The fighting so far has been fierce. Uh, some of you have been very unlucky with your cube movements. Uh, Jaya has failed to get out once, gotten pulled out, gotten engulfed again. And this is where we're picking up. 
Uh, the two of you who were not here have already been rolled into initiative. Let me move everyone to the map. And I will shift ping you to the spot. Alright. It loaded for everybody? Yep. Yes. yep. Alright. And that means we pick up in initiative with Jaya. Currently engulfed. It was a strength save to get out of here again. Uh, strength check. Okay. Uh, God damn it. Jai what he really is... does hate me. You're moving your arms, sort of. Getting about half a rotation. And it's just closing back in behind you. The tracks that you're leaving behind. <laughs> well, brings... it is, it's the... It's the third cube I've been in, so at this point in time, they're they're learning my no. they're learning my strength. Done it, definitely done, you. not me. <laughs> oh, I can't attack or do anything, right? Uh, uh, while you while are I'm engulfed, um, so you you cannot use anything that is verbal, um, mm -hmm. uh, but you are. Let me double check. You are restrained. You take damage at the start of the cube's turns. So you can try to attack. Everything is at disadvantage because you're restrained. But you're, it's not getting you out. I want to do the the hard iron shock wave. Okay. Possible. Um, sure. Go for it. On the two... Uh, well, I posted. So, should be all three, right? Within 60 feet of you? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, that one's only 30 feet away. Okay. So that is a constitution saving throw? Mm-hmm. DC okay. 15. All right. I don't know how good they are at this. So, yours, Jaya's, and Corin's. Okay, uh, so... What does this look like as you're in the middle of the cube and doing this effect? I'm guessing that Dunan is just holding the hammer in both hands and brute forcing it as hard as he can on the floor or on the bottom of the gelatinous cube All right. as hard as he can. As you sort of tumble like a, an astronaut in zero gravity, you finally bring your head around to your basically upside down at the moment and it gives you the the swing that you need to connect heart iron to the ground um and the the shock waves emanate out from that point the one that you're contained within has the, the weird undulating pattern as it sort of shakes and quakes in uh everything before it connects to the other two um yours and uh corin are both uh, stunned. Great. But I still take the acid damage, I guess, right? Yeah. Oh, well, it happens on the cube's turn, yeah. On oh, the cube's turn. Right. That brings us to Siegfried with Aeolus on deck. As um, uh, the group of you, the two of you heard shouting, it took you a few rounds to sort of catch up to where your party was. Maybe you were looking at the water and trying to get samples of seaweed for no reason. That seems like an Aeolus thing. Say free. What will be? Um, I think. Sorry, I'm trying to measure out a 20 foot radius. Oh, good. Uh, set it to snap to corner. Okay. Um, yep. Um, uh, sorry, snap to corner. Yep, and right you currently have dark vision up. Your spell slot has been used for it. Okay. Have you long rested since the last time, or I can't remember? You were already long rested prior to me okay. turning anything yeah. on your sheet. Yeah. So I think everything is accurate. Cool. Yeah. Um. Uh. So. I can't really see what's around the corner, but I want to try and get the cube in front of me in the radius of Ice Storm. Ice Storm? Yeah. I use some charges on my Ring of Winter. And you get like that. Um, yeah. Tang is up in the air. 
So, okay. Uh, you could do that, or you could set it here. Yeah, yeah, because it goes 40 feet in the air unless Ping is oh, above that. Oh, yeah, no, it's yeah. a cylinder, not a dome? Yeah, 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 it's a cylinder, so I would try to avoid Ping. Uh, okay. And, uh, yep, that, that is what I'll do with my action. Okay, Ice Storm. So uh, they need to do a dexterity save, which I don't think they can do when they're stunned, but I, I don't recall exactly. I'll double check in a moment. I'm grabbing a spell right now. I could find a cylinder. Do I have a snow? I do have a snow one. And uh, they use this two charges. Okay, I gotta keep track of that. 15, 20, 10, 20. Right there. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks perfect. Okay. There we go. And a dex save for the cube. And I believe that's concentration for you as well. E no, it's instantaneous. Really? Wow. This duration, yeah. Uh, it rolled a zero on the deck save. <laughs> nice. Uh, so it's going to take 2d8 bludgeoning. I'll roll that first. Yep. And then ooh, uh, mm -hmm. 4d6 cold. And then it's... So it's 13... 30 total? Uh, yeah, 30 total. Jeez. Okay. Uh, it does not resist either of those damage types. Nice. Uh, and... Sorry, starry form. Oh, okay. So this does not linger super long. No, it's okay. just like a big cylinder of cold, and then it dissipates. That's what I, I went about going in and getting like a nice uh, template out and everything because I'm thinking this <laughs> yeah. is like a storm sphere and it's lasting. <laughs> no, no, there's no, no. It's gone. Okay. All the all the storm spheres have like crazy radiuses that have hit yeah. everyone in the room. <laughs> so, right. This is this is the smallest, ra and then um. With a bonus action, I'm just going to preemptively go into Chalice. Chalice? Okay. Sounds good. Yep. Uh, that'll bring uh, us that to Aeolus with a cube on deck. Um... Heli's not here. That means I need to do Heli. Um... <clears throat> What is the range on this? Do, 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 do. 60 feet. <clears throat> Am I able to see uh, Aya at the edge of my dark vision? Make a perception check for me. Thirteen. You're right on the cusp there. You do. You can just barely see her sort of suspended in this semi-transparent uh, goop. I'm going to cast Levitate on her. Ooh. Okay. Does that happen immediately? You can change target's altitude. Uh, rises vertically 20 feet and suspended. Zaya, do you resist the spell being cast upon you? I imagine there's a moment where, since it's coming from Aeolus, possibly, but she really wants out of this cube, so no, I will not resist. Okay. Uh, you are 20 feet in the air. Uh... There's a cube of acid about 10 feet below you that seems really appetizing. Um. <laughs> um, and then after Aeolus finishes pitching about how he was so close to gathering some real potent seaweed samples, <laughs> uh, he's just going to look around and is going to turn to Siegfried and shout do we know anything about these? have we fought these before? my age is getting to me 
Uh, hey, Shrug, I, I don't believe we You guys have fought a gelatinous cube before. Oh, yeah, probably. When you were going after Mayor Tadell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, and... Uh, but before and, you knew it was Mayor Tadell. And uh, I think the the Temple of the, the Raven Queen had a cube moving around it, but I don't think we ran that. into it. Correct. Yeah. And then I will, as a bonus action, will attempt to blood curse of the binding the cube that is closest. Okay. You so that it's not so. able to move, and I will amplify it because the creature does not have blood. So I have to use my own. Ah, affect any creature. Perfect. Okay. So it is a strength. What what type of save is it? It is a strength save. Strength save. Six. Well, so its speed becomes zero. And they can repeat the save, right? Um, the curse lasts for one minute. They can repeat the save at the end of its turn. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, around to... Are you saying put where you are? Are you moving in further? Um, I'm going to stay where I am. Okay. Brings us to the cubes. Uh, starting off, uh, Dunnan, you sizzle for 24 points of acid damage. Yikes. Yeah, that is looking real bad. Um, the one that had Jaya is going to move. And engulf Hellarast. Or attempt to. Oh. Alright, she gets a dex save. Which she fails. Um, the others just have to try to end their their respective effects. Um, stunned one for you, Dunnan, is no longer stunned. Awkward. Um, Horns is still stunned. Uh, what's your DC, Aeolus? Seventeen. Is still bound. So the one near Aeolus is still basically stuck as it was. Um, Got to roll damage for Hellaras, and that'll be the turn. Oh, uh, Hellaras takes 12 points of damage as she gets engulfed. Uh, that'll bring us to Hellaraz. So Jai is going to be the one on deck after I quickly go through their turns. Um, Hellaraz will attempt to get out, which she succeeds in. She'll end up here. And move away from the thing. And Corrin will attack. Oh, she can't move that far away from Corrin. And then Tang will send healing. Who needs the healing? What would Tang see? I mean, Dunnan is the one who's still trapped in a cube, right? And Dunnan is like nearly dissolved to bones. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. So Tang will give you a... Uh, healing word at what spell slots does she have left? Second level. Uh, she got a two. Uh, she got a four, so that's a five and twelve. Seventeen points for you, Don. Jesus, nice. 
And she also gets healing, right? Uh, yeah, she she does. Yeah, it's two, two. I think she gets four points of healing herself. So she goes up to 63. And then I believe her channel divinity, she can be used. You gotta find her channel divinity, sorry. Preserve life. Create a spell slot for the use of casting. Oh, never mind. All right, so she she is not doing that. Um, she will swoop over here. So that way, she is closer to Dunnan. And she is going. She's not concentrating on anything. She is going to hold. She's going to cast Aura of Vitality. So that way she has it up ready to go. And that'll be her turn. Can she do two level spells? Oh, you're right. Never mind, she's not doing shit. Um, she's sorry, doing a cantrip. Oh. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Sacred Flame. Will you roll Sacred Flame for me? I did not see. Oh, it just came through. There we go. Uh, it literally can't pass that that check. Uh, she's going after the one that has done it. All right, that'll be Tang's turn. Jaya, up to you. All right. So she's gonna flap her little wings and pitch her voice over to Aeolus and be like, "All right, Aeolus, love, we don't need to hold concentration on this. I got it from here. Thank you." And I'm gonna fucking polymorph this one. <laughs> You're gonna polymorph the cube? Yes, I'm sick of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a wisdom save. Rolls a they're dirty good. one. I was gonna say, if they're good at this, I'm quitting. <laughs> I'm leaving the game. <laughs> dirty one. All what right. are you turning it into? Well done. Um, the snail. Like the gooeyest little snail. There we go. Gooey snail. Oh, God. I mean, it's tiny, tiny, tiny gooey snail. We can step on it later. Don't step on the snail. Or I can load it into the crossbow and just fire it. Okay. You you have snailified one of my cubes. Uh, you're concentrating on that. And then anything with your bonus? Um... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna enact blade song just just in case. Just for the AC bonus. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Done in. You can feel the magic stitching over your form right as Whoa. the acid is trying to continuously dissolve it. This battle back and forth. What are you doing? I get broken and reshaped every round. I'll try to push myself out. Sure. Strength check. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. That's it. It's done and fate. No dice. All <laughs> right. Is... Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah. Siegfried, around to you with Aeolus up. Okay. Uh, I'm going to move forward to see what's going on. I think that's the furthest I can move forward with my movement. I'm in danger of slimification now, but at least I see done and... Um, Dunnan's having trouble getting out, right? Yep. Uh, and a bit. Let me just see some stuff. I am. Sorry, I need to look up the rule for.
distance spell lets you increase the range of touch spells, right? Yeah, it's a 30 feet. I just remember. Okay, 30 feet. All right. It yeah. just didn't say on the card. Um, and I wanted to make sure it wasn't. Yeah. Oh, man. Dunnan is <laughs> just out of range. Shit. Um, I am. Uh... Actually, um. Because if I, I was down here, I can go... Yeah, I think you were here. Or... Yeah. Or you here. Yeah, so... so 30 that's 25, gets... to, 25 to here, but then I can go 30 here. And then get a little bit closer to Dunnan. Who is now within 30 feet. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I need to change that template. No good. Uh, anyways, um, so now now he's there. I'm going to use a sorcery point to distance spell. And, uh, and then uh, I am going to cast... Uh, sorry. The computer's waking out a little bit. I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on Dunnan. Okay. Um, at a fourth level. So Dunnan gets 19 healing, and then I get to send Chalice healing to someone else. I believe also within 30 feet of you, correct? Okay. Uh, I haven't done it in a while, so I have to check. I've been doing archer form a lot. Jai and Tang are way outside of your range. Hellarest has taken some damage. Yeah. Not a lot. She's still pretty good. Yeah, within good. 30 feet. Yeah, I'll, I'll just send it to Heli. Okay. She's my only choice. Sure. What's the heal for? I had... Here it comes. Nine to Heli. Nice. And then... That was my action... Um, I don't have any bonus actions. That's my turn. All right. Uh, that'll bring us to Aeolus. Alrighty. Um, I'm going to start working away at S1 since Siegfried is in threat range. Certainly. Uh, it looks pretty... Chopped up already. There's definitely bits that are slowing off of it. Okay. But it's still stunned, right? Still stunned, yeah. Still stunned. Uh, zero movement. That thing's I'm just going, a fixture at this point. I'm going to activate the lightning crimson right on the star metal blaster. Okay. Bonus. And then I'm going to take two shots at it. Go for it. Uh, you don't that, have that, 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 that wasn't the right button, Sam. That's okay. You still get a natural one. No natural one. Uh, natural one's the only thing that will actually miss these things. Um, so 16 does hit for uh, 11, 12 points of damage. Nice. Uh, the thing is quivering as the lightning sort of jolting through it. The lightning is even leaving tracks that you can see in the inside of this gelatinous form. Anything else for your turn? That is it. All right. Around to the cubes. Do we cook Dunnan? 19 points of acid damage done. Sweet. Uh, strength save against the Aeolus breaks the blood curse. Oh, damn. Um, and then 15 to break stun. Is the DC 15? Yeah. Okay, it is no longer stunned, but that's the end of its turn. Oh, um, I also, I forgot that I have a tape. I it will drop concentration. Yeah. And she safely floats back down to the ground. Siegfried, make me a deck save. 
Oh no. Sorry, it's coming. Uh, here you go. Jai, you can maintain your altitude if you want. With I'm going to. I'm going to wheel myself with the reaction. Okay. So that's a twenty. Okay. Um, you shift five feet. Let's see you there. You dodge out of the way of the cube that's moving towards you. Mm -hmm. uh, that'll bring us to Hellarast. Uh, she'll do Shade and Shine attacks. Wow, a lot of natural ones. Uh, 14 points to North Cube. This is what happens when they have a whole bunch of natural 20s. Hang. will be very upset. Stop flying away. Um... And now she will do Aura of Vitality with her action. And then 13 points to Dunnan with her bonus action. And she's concentrating on that for the next minute. And that brings us to Jaya, free from a cube at last. Finally. <laughs> um, yep. I'm going to pull out Serpent's Fang, and I'm going to go, uh, still flying. Stab the one that has done it in it. Okay, so you're dropping in altitude down to 15 yeah, feet Yeah, but I'm height. just, like, hovering, hovering above it, yeah. Yeah. Just, just nipping at the corner of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, those... <laughs> Um, so <laughs> 15, 16, 31 points of damage. Uh, it is still holding together, but it's looking pretty bad. Uh, anything else, Jaya? Wait, can I cast a cantrip too as a bonus action or no? No, can you I replace one of your attacks with a cantrip. Right. Okay. You. That's it. Right, that brings us to. Oh. Sorry. Go ahead. I was just gonna say I fly like five feet back up. I don't trust this fucking cube. Okay. Oh. Uh, that takes you out of its reach, and it's gonna make an opportunity attack on you. Eighteen to hit you. Nope. No okay. nope. Now we're around and done. <laughs> well, he tries again. Pushing himself off the other side right. of the cube. Please, Go guys, for it. don't screw me over again. <laughs> Done, and you are out. Yay. You have, the cube has given birth to a dwarf. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's your action. You have movement and bonus his, remaining. <laughs> his beard is, like, really thin right now. Just hmm. some <laughs> very Nothing thin some hair. magic can't fix. <laughs> yeah. And he's gonna move the fuck away. Okay. <laughs> it's enough. Like, done with that. Alright, that brings us to Siegfried with Aeolus on deck. Okay. Um... And I will just shout, attack it from a uh, farther range. They don't move very quickly. That's it. Um, seeing as these these ones seem to be bearing down on me, and my party is switched to attacking. I am going to not want to get swallowed. <laughs> I'm going to cast. Um... I'm going to cast uh, freedom of movement on myself. Okay. So that is not concentration. Is not concentration, all right? But hopefully it'll help you if I'm restrained. Um, so you cannot become paralyzed or restrained. That's fine. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I had the ring of reaction the whole time. Well, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> actually, I take it back. I'm just going to move. I'm going to move first. Okay. Um, we had. So 
I am. Um... I'm trying to decide. Never mind. I'm just gonna do a cantrip on them. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Decision paralysis. Apologies. Uh, I'm gonna go for the one to the south, and I'm just gonna try and primal savagery them. Okay. Acid damage. Bold choice. Yeah. Well, that hits. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't do anything. No, it does. They're not okay. acid. <laughs> How do you want to do this? <laughs> uh. At eight points left. <laughs> Very low. I just like I, I just run a finger and it looks like I open a zipper and it just like dissolves into water for that. And then um, as you break the tension it, with this uh, spell, your the claws forming, extending slightly into the thing's form, and uh, it's like you ruptured this bag of fluid. Mm -hmm. um, what would normally flow out at, if it were uh, a leather wineskin or something is this water this flows out thousands of cubes the size of uh about your fingernail just in this liquid like form as they sort of flow past each other and spill out upon the ground you can hear the faint sizzling on your boots um but nothing that's damaging cool. uh then i'm gonna move uh one two three four Five, so uh, six. Uh, I assume I might take opportunity attack. Oh no, that one already no, used. That one already did on Jaya. Awesome, cool. Okay. That worked out better than I thought. <laughs> That's yeah. my turn. Right, that brings us to Aeolus with the cube on deck. Being the other one, fall. Aeolus's excitement at the possibility of gathering samples. He's gonna rush up and unsheath the his katana and he's gonna take two swipes certainly go for it uh that hits uh so 12 and 10 22 points of damage how do you want to do this um alos will just take two qu quick swipes and in his excitement, will go and grab a chunk of 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 the creature and just go. Now I need to find a content. Oh God, it burnt! And that's it. Take four acid damage. Ow. Oh. <laughs> As your two heavy swipes are enough to take a corner off of the cube, which then allows all of the contents to sort of flow out in this liquid-like state, liquidy cube-like state. Um, but now you're holding this cube of, this corner of a cube of gel in your hand, and it's it's sizzling. All right. Uh, that'll bring us to the cube. It is a snail. I'll say it's snailed this way over the last two rounds. Hellerast. Uh, Tang will throw healing at Jaya. Uh, Jaya, you pick up 14. And I assume Tang is back to full at this point. Um, and she'll move towards Dunnan to heal Dunnan later. Um, Jaya, around to you. Um, uh, can I go step on the snail? Certainly. Make me an athletics check. Why did I choose this? Why did I just stab it? I mean, it's a snail. Like, it, it's it's not <laughs> it's not terribly dangerous. A snail has like one hit point. Um. So. Uh, roll me a d6, please. Alright, and uh, what's your strength modifier? Two. Two? So four. Yes. Alright, so, um, uh, you crush the snail, 
Um, you hear a satisfying crunch. And a split second later, your foot and then the rest of you is enveloped as a, the cube turns back into a cube when you kill the snail. And you are caught in another cube. I was waiting for that. Oh, it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up Didn't the snail, throw it in the water. <laughs> you take acid damage. I can feel the eye roll behind the screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> Eight points of acid damage, Shia. Dunnin! Oh, God. Um. Gets within like 20 feet and throws the hammer two times. Trying to finish it off. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. That's a crit. Oh. Uh, 14. It does max damage with hot iron. Ah. So that crit. is. Uh, so you already rolled. It's. That's... You rolled a 3. So that's. It's plus seven, so it's seventeen and sorry, uh, it's fifteen. Pardon me, and eight, so twenty-three points of damage. Yeah. Okay. Uh, second attack. Yes. Another fourteen. That is sufficient. Um, any particular way you finish off the final cube, as we come out I of guess... initiative. He's gonna swing it so style and just throw it so hard that the um that it pushes the gelatinous cube through the to the wall and Saya drops out and then it just dissolves. I love it. As uh, heart iron returns to your hand, uh if you take a glance around, you do not see any other immediate threats. Um, oh. Go over and give Shy a hand to get up. You're right. Before, um, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, uh, I just wanted to say before my chalice healing runs out, I wanted to do one more healing spell. Uh, how long does your chalice last? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Okay. Tang's go. Tang's spell lasts one minute, so she's going to use her next eight uses. Okay. Oh, I forgot. I forgot that. Yeah, she has already. So Dunnan. 17, done in 15, done in 15. So done in heal 47. Does that get you back to full? No, but I'm at 92. It's all right. 12 for done in. Oh, cool. Does that get you back to full? Mm, 17 more. 13 more, and you're good. Okay. Yeah, and I'm then next good. three are all for Jaya. 16, 14, 14. So uh, 44 for Jaya. And that's her spell. She didn't use I will, it. Yeah, I will save my spell slot then. Alright, let's not do this again, please. That was rather unpleasant. Hello. These slimes might be what's carving these pathways through the tunnels. We may run into more of them. <laughs> We should stay clear of them, at least at a good distance. They are quite slow, but they surprised us somehow. I can check and see what's nearby. I, I need 10 minutes. I can see if there's more nearby. Do you think I could do it? Hmm. Or should we keep moving? Uh -oh. I think we should keep moving. Okay. Let's just... Because we kind of shattered that crystal down there, and it mm. probably made quite the ruckus. Oh. But the, the whole time? Yeah. In, in my... Uh previous studies, I, I have heard of certain creatures that use vibrations in the ground like moles. Perhaps there's some like that here. So that's mm. probably a good idea to get away. 
Didn't the miners talk something about the bullet carving yeah. through here? That too. This could be bullet tunnels. This could be a lot of things. So, well, anyhow, we should get moving. Which way do you think? Left or right? We came... Well, the, the, um, the treasure chests were here, right? Or the bunk? And we already checked them, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, either way is fine. Maybe right first. Sure. Lead the way. Already on it. I did not realize Jai was a blade singer. That's really cool. <laughs> I've always wanted to play a blade singer. I had to temporarily mute myself because of the shriek that came out. <laughs> <laughs> Armis Armis was our lovely first blade singer. <laughs> Listen, Armis liked to ride things. If Aeolus's dex was higher, he would too. Sure. Is there something to do I can do to like keep uh, like a uh, eye out for traps or anything while we're walking or passes? Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if Siegfried, if we're worried about traps, I can I can turn my attention to those since I, I think I have the highest passive perception at the moment. Sure. Yes. Let maybe you should walk behind Dun, walk close to Dun, and then and then we'll bring up the rear. <laughs> Another branching way. Right. Are there any differences? Like, is one going up or down, or are they all kind of on the same level? Do the stairs go up or down? Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Base. Sorry. So the stairs seem to take us back up. If we go that way, so maybe we go right? All right. I'm up for that plan. Uh, well, uh, I have a one there. I, uh, before, before we... Um, I would just also stop Aeolus before we went and say, um, maybe you should check the rod again. 
Is it still pointing downwards? I will... I will... Check with Ergasiv. Um, the group just sees Aeolus draw the rod and then just start walking on autopilot. Mm. Hold on, Aeolus. I, I grab Aeolus Wait. and stop him for a second. We can't, oh, we can't, but... we can't separate right now. I, I understand your. This is important, but at least we know we're on the right level. Let's let's back up Dunnan and then we can go look. But see, there is the pile we saw through the crystals, the pile of stuff. Definitely have to check that out. It out. Aeolus is generally confused. He didn't realize that he started to walk. I was like, we need we need your passive perception, Aeolus, we weren't done and gets <clears throat> caught in a tiger trap. Where is it located, the pile? All over. It's on the floor. But uh Okay. Siegfried points out his finger. Uh, what what if this is the dragon's horde? Should we be oh. messing with this? How? Maybe it's something useful is in here. <clears throat> How tall is this room? Is is there anything I can spot? up on the roof of this room of this ceiling proper word yes Aeolus will activate uh, P-Tech magic. Yes. Um, I will point out the files and will t t turn to Bunnin and the others and go, are we leaving this alone or are we taking what we can? I mean, 
drawer isn't going anywhere, but aren't we in dire need of some funds? I mean, we could always use more, but I don't want to take anything that belongs to the miners if this is for any reason theirs. But if it belongs to the Order of Whelm, then fuck them, I'm taking it all. Well, there is no tag on any of this stuff, so it's part of the tale. Then I will I will begin a sweep of of each of the piles. Um, and I will continue to pull and loot until someone stops me. Yes. I will I will put the spell scroll away temporarily as I finish. Yep. We good now? see if there's any sorts of bits of writing anywhere. That's what I'm looking for. Any sort of indicate because the, the further we go down it seems like we're there's people laying traps we find like this horde like I just want to see if there's any signs of civilization. Yeah. I, I'm going to do perception. Yeah I'm going to do perception. Um it is way better for me. I will wheel myself as well. Uh, 19. Um. I'm just going to say, I was probably just, uh, since I already saw Aeolus cast a tech magic, I don't think I need to do that, but just like a random investigation check into some of these piles. I'm just strutting around and just passively looking if I see anything that might be, I don't know, a healing potion. Oh, yeah, a vial of, po of a potion or something. Okay.
Sure, um, do I have to go further down the trail I saw to grab the gate? Okay. Yeah. I, I tell the group, I, I found something. It looks like a trail. I'll go investigate. Um, but if I'm able to, Siegfried would make his way towards that. Okay. Um, um, are these, um, this armor suits, are they in, of any resemblance about the, uh, about the city guards in, from a cart or? Okay. They're different. Okay. I'll take note of that. Yeah. Coming from there. Okay. Yeah, but we, yeah. Okay. I'll turn to secret. You felt that too, right? The shaking of the ground. Did I? Oh, okay. It's not yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, like, I, I didn't notice. Um, 
but it's possible there's things moving around in the earth just as there's things moving around above it, so it could be in anything if you felt a vibration. Hmm. Might be a creature moving. Might be the creature that is making those tunnels. And I really wonder why there are crystals everywhere. Something very strange. You found a, a pathway, you said? I'll get a little closer. Well, uh, there seems to be a trail going down, but I uh, found this case. Case? Yeah, I, I would like to open it. Um, I will gingerly pick up the wand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I will go back. I'll be like, Aeolus, Zaya, do you know what this is? <laughs> back, Looks like a stick. Yeah. <laughs> do, what do you see with your magical eyes, Aeolus? Huh? Sorry. Oh, you found a stick. I found a scroll. I mean, would somebody put the stick into a case? I mean, Not usually important. that means it's a wand of some sort. Mm. So it's uh, a very special have... stick. Sorry. You're good. But I've had 10 minutes while they were rooting around to cast identify on this spyglass that I found. I know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, is there anything else that I'm able to find uh, what what schools of magic am I able to sense if I'm able to sense off of the wand I will relay that to Siegfried and I'll hand him the scroll that I found. This is better off in you or Kaya's hand. Um, if you don't mind me, I'm just going to try to gather what I'm able to considering I still have to pay off the other portion of the armor that I owe. Oh, very true. I didn't think of that. Um, and as Aeolus hands the scroll off, he's going to grab the rod, and he's just going to keep a hold of the rod at the moment as he's just walking through, trying to scoop any any like handfuls of like loose coin into his bag of holding anything that he's able to fit in like a short amount of like a quickened pace because he doesn't want to risk everyone
Okay. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah, I just put one then scroll in my inventory. I didn't update the party loot. Yeah, I just added. Yeah. No, I think um, as soon as Jaya was done. Secret would just suggest maybe maybe we should move out Dunnan's feeling vibrations under his feet. I don't think we should stay here much longer. The link something is I don't know. Tunneling? Boring? I don't know. I found a trail this way of sorts. Someone's definitely been walking in this direction through the piles. The, I, I, am I... Did I get you correct, Spencer? That's what it looked like? Okay. So, um, I would try and follow these this this trail if I could. Yeah. Yes. Aeolus hangs behind for a few seconds and follows up the rear. He's right next right, to me. Yeah, I see him right here. Yeah, Jaya for some reason isn't clicking to the grid, but we all are. That's okay. She's yeah. flying. She has free. Oh life. yeah, she is flying. <laughs> True. Does the trail lead in any way, or is it just end in this room? Sorry, coming. It's coming. Uh, deception. I'm gonna wheel myself again. So that is a uh, seventeen. Yep, seventeen.
Um, I, I whisper to Jaya, Jaya, there's nothing growing in this room. No fungus, there's... The dirt is bare. That's unusual, isn't it? And I, I also have to be, be right back. Sorry. Um. Well. Hmm. seems irrational to use this wondrous item right now, but I would be able to see quite a lot of things if I uh, were to use a charge of one of these. Do you think it's worthwhile here? Just in case there's something in that pit. All right, my companions are tongue-tied. Why not use the gem of scene that I just procured? That you need to attune to before you can use yeah. it. Yeah, you need Mother a Motherfucker! Yeah, that, that's um, why I was oh, quiet. God, I hate, I hate, <laughs> I hate forgetting rules. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, I, I actually did have an idea. Um, Secret is just going to use a spell slot and okay. cast Commune with Nature. Okay. And, uh, sorry, I have to read read the choices again. Two effects of your uh, choice about any of the following subjects, terrain, bodies of water, plants, minerals, animals, people, powerful celestials, fey, fiends, <laughs> elementals, undead influence, mother plants uh, existence. I want I definitely want terrain. Okay. Um bodies of water. Cuz we we ran into water, right? You did. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so terrain, water, um, and I'll look for peoples again. Okay. Um, you do not sense any peoples um, immediately. Uh, bodies of water, um, nothing close. You do sense the flowing stream slash underground river that the party encountered previously off to your east and south. Uh, it sort of curves around the grand scale of the map. Um, and uh, the terrain. Uh, this is natural, but you realize that um, all of the space here is very consistently disturbed and uh, that is why there's nothing grown upon the ground. And you see no piles of gear or anything. This is sort of this constantly churning earth. Um, Dunnan, you feel the same rumbling beneath your feet. I need Dunnan, Siegfried, and Shia to all make me dexterity saving throws. Ooh. I guess I can't use Shield Master on that, right? Cool. Okay, uh, Siegfried, move yourself one and square to the right, Jaya to the left. Dunnan, you're good. I'm gonna ask the group of you to roll into initiative as well. Cool. Dang, that's like the best initiative I've ever gotten in this game. As, as you're sort of focusing on this space, Siegfried, uh, Dunnan, it takes you a moment, you realize you're on softer ground, and you didn't feel it quite as quickly as you were, even though you were, had felt it earlier when you were on the more solid area in the other room, uh, that rumbling on the ground bursts forth and exploding out of the ground. 
is a garg huge beast with this armored cone-like face that just shreds through the space. Dunnan, you are knocked prone. Uh, let's send this back so that way we can see Dunnan's token. Uh, I need to roll some damage on you. Sure. Uh, Dunnan, you take 17 points of bludgeoning damage. Um, and you are knocked prone as the bullet charges forth out of the ground. Um, it will occupy the same space as the front half of it has just sort of burst forth as it swings around. You are currently pinned, prone, and restrained. Um, now I have the ring of... What's it called? Um, reaction. Reaction. Okay, so I that means... Be restrained. Okay, so you are still pinned and prone, but your yeah. movement speed is not reduced to zero. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then top of the round will be Siegfried. My apologies, I'm eating at the moment. Um, let me see what I can do. Um, if you want, we can take a quick mid session break here. It's about yeah, halfway it, through session, so. That's all right. Uh, that. About six minutes. Yep. Mm. Well, before we. I mean. Spencer, just a quick question, because if I read it as written, it's only magic can't reduce your speed or cause it to parallel. Uh, you are restrained so then. Yeah. yeah. This is thousands of pounds of beast sitting on top of you. Yeah. Cool. Nice. <laughs> First getting dissolved, getting dissolved, not being crushed by <laughs> a huge beast. Land Perfect. shark. <laughs> All right. Back in six-ish minutes.
Getting back into it. Top of the order, Siegfried. This thing is burst forth from the ground, pinned to Dunnan. What do you do? Um, I would like to disengage and sure. move back a little bit. Um, one, two, three, four, right about there. And then with my bonus action, I'm going to get ready and go into Chalice form. And uh, that is my turn. All right. Uh, that will bring us to the huge Bulet's turn, who will make uh, two attacks on Aeolus. Oh boy. Uh, Aeolus, it is going to try to bite you. Yep. Uh, does a 19 hit you? Yep, it's my armor class. You take 35 points of piercing damage. Yikes. And you're grappled. <laughs> then two claw attacks will go at Dunnan, who is pinned underneath its front. And they both have advantage because you're restrained. First one's a 12 with advantage, unfortunately. Second one's a 26 for 7 points of slashing damage. Magical? No. You can reduce it. Very good. Cool. Um, and then... Uh, that'll be his turn. Aeolus, run you. Am I grappled by its mouth? Yep. Cool. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to... look to Dunnan and tell him to try to get away. And I'm going to reach into my bag and grab the bundle of Six. Okay. Six. And I am going to ready an action for when Dunnan moves away. Okay. And that'll be to attempt to light these sticks. Noted. Okay. Done in, around to you. Yeah. Um so I heard Secret saying that and seeing do I see what he's doing? Or am I so below? You saw Siegfried make space. Oh, uh, you mean Aeolus? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Aeolus, yeah. sorry. Yeah, you'd see what yeah. he's doing. You're on the same side as him. Okay. So I'm restrained. Do I have to break out of You do. Uh, you can okay. um let me double check. It's a, it's a strength check. Not again. <laughs> okay. Very familiar to you. <laughs> yep. But you do break out. You manage to sort of <laughs> shimmy your space out. As it went to bite Aeolus, you take that opportunity, wedge and push yourself out. Um, you are here. Okay. Um, you're prone, so half your movement to stand up. Okay, and then I'll... I have 35 feet of movement, so I have 10 feet <laughs> left, right? Oh, uh, you have 20 feet left. Okay. Oh, I'll move 20 feet away. Yeah, we'll make an opportunity attack of a claw Guess against so. you. Uh, 17 yeah. to hit, I believe nope. misses you. Misses, no. Yep. no. I don't know what you're up to, Elos, but better not blow yourself up. Alright, Elos, you had a ready to action. The conditions um, have been met. Yes. Um, I'm going to try to stick my hand as far into this creature's mouth as possible, and shocking grasp. Alright, well your ready to action was to light the things. Yes. So they are now lit in your hand. Uh-oh. That brings us um. to Jaya. Ah! <laughs> What'll be, Jaya? Jaya's tired. <laughs> Fucking polymorph. Give me, give me a wisdom <laughs> give me a wisdom saving throw. I am 
<laughs> She's oh, so you're over using this. polymorph. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is an 18. God damn it. Thank God. Oh, the one time I don't want polymorph <laughs> to kick off. <laughs> Why not? It'd be great. Um, I don't think Aeolus can come back from six sticks of dynamite. <laughs> oh boy, okay. And so has made its reaction already around. if you want to move away. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to fly as far back as I can. Okay. Uh, staying near the ground or you're gaining altitude? It's about 20 feet tall in here. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll go high and back, so. Okay. Mm, 10 feet in height? Yep. Okay, sure. All right, that's uh, action and movement for you. Are you doing a blade song or you get a hold off for now? Uh, I really should. Y'all, I'm gonna need a nap after this. Um, oh, they come back yeah, on long rest, long. so. I didn't yep. say how long of a nap. Okay, <laughs> it's up to you. Oh no, it's an. I think you only have three, right? Yeah, I only have. No, I have four. Four. Oh okay. no. Up to you. No, I'll do it. You doing it? All right. Yeah. Sounds good. That'll bring us to Siegfried with the Belight on deck. Okay. Um, doing some measurements one moment. Um, let's see. I would. <coughs> I'm going to try and hit it with a, another um, Ice Storm. Yeah. That's a con save? Uh, I think it's a deck save. Deck save. Let me, let me check. A it's a 20 foot radius, 12, 40 foot you column. You can easily get it without avoiding allies. Without. Yeah. Whilst avoiding allies. Not yep. without avoiding allies. <laughs> um, uh, dex is a 17, con is a 23. Just let me know which it is. Uh, it's a deck, so it succeeds. Okay. Um, so, but it still takes half, half damage, damage, I believe. Okay. So this is the bludgeoning, and then that's the cold. Uh, it does not resist either of them. Okay, that's good to know. Um, oh, that's low damage rolls, though. Yeah. yeah no. I, I see, uh, so... so I think I the see benefit AO. of that spell is the, the massive area. Yeah. I But I was looking at, like, Cone of Cold, and... Fear, they're like they're like sixty feet radius. Yeah. Like, like uh, I was trying to figure out that I just didn't want to think that hard and went no. with ice, ice storm. Oh, good. Um, so Aeolus is there. Um, I am going to launch a level three healing word at Aeolus with my bonus action. Okay. And uh, I'm not in range of anyone for the chalice healing, so that just can you dole up. the chalice healing to Aeolus, or it has to be another creature. I believe it has to be a separate creature. Separate yeah, creature. I believe okay. we. You can't we, we yeah, I thought that was the case. Um, yeah, we we discussed was, it. Yeah, before. you or yeah. another. Yeah, if it's you, you can healing word yourself and then chalice yourself. You, but you're yeah. the only person that can double up on. Yep, basically. Um, but here it comes. Well, let me just double check. He's out of thirty feet, right? Oh no, he is in thirty feet. Yeah. Oh, but I need a bonus action. That's why I was doing this. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to, try to remember my logic. Okay, so Healing Word, level 3, coming at Aeolus. Yeah, he's 25 from you. Yeah. I was seeing if I could do a Cure Wounds, but I, I already used my action. So. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. 11, 11 points of Healing points. Aeolus. And then, and then uh, if you need to top yourself up, you can top yourself up. Uh, I'm already full health, I believe. Um, okay. And, uh, and then uh, I'm just going to move a little bit this way around okay. the pit. That'll bring us to the Bulet. Um, 
it is going to chomp down on you some more, Aeolus, because you did not escape its grasp. It now has Let's advantage go. against you. Go. Uh, 19 to hit you. Hits. Uh, you take 32 points of piercing damage. Okay. And you are swallowed. Nice! This is going according to plan. <laughs> oh, great. Along with the dynamite. Yes! <laughs> oh, this is how I want it to go. You oh, are, this is so great. You are blinded, restrained. You have total cover from all attacks and spells. <laughs> um, and effects outside of the bullet. Okay. And you take damage at the start of the bullet's turns. Okay. It will then charge... Uh, select everything. Uh, sort of dive down into the ground and surface back up, launching itself over the pit towards Siegfried. Um, Siegfried, I need you to make me a dex saving throw. Or strength or dex, actually. Your choice. They are both the same for me. Um, do strength. Uh, that is a failure. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wheel myself. Okay. How many wheels do you have left? This is my last one. I have four. So that is a nineteen. Nineteen. All right. That is a success. You take half damage, and you are not knocked prone. You are moved five feet, um, outside of the Bulus space. Um, you take 10 points of bludgeoning. This is the half. 10 points of bludgeoning and 7 points of slashing instead of 21 and 14. So that's 17 total? 17 total, correct. Cool. Um, awesome. It sort of launches past you and you dodge out of the way just in time. Uh, half pushing yourself, half dodging off of its form. Um, and that'll bring us to Aeolus. Alright. I have a question. You do not know how long these fuses are. Cool. Great. That answers my question. I'm going to shocking grasp these sticks. The sticks of dynamite? Yes. Sure. I want to kill this creature before it does any more harm to my companions. Wonderful. Uh, roll me damage for <laughs> shocking grasp. Um, is that three lightning... That's your crimson yeah. light you still have enabled? Yep. Okay. Okay, build six damage. Um, as the power is focused at not quite enough over whatever threshold to trigger these things, that you can still see the fuses going, providing you the smallest amount of light and a faint sizzling sound nearby you. Um, not quite enough. Um, that was my action. Um, as a bonus action, fuck it. Blood Curse of the Binding. On the I'm going to try to, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try sure. to get this creature off the move. Okay, that's a strength save. Of 17. Gets a 14. Uh, so it is, uh, speed zero, um, yep. until end of your next turn. And it cannot use reactions. No reactions, noted. Uh, so the rest of you just see it stop moving for a moment and sort of try to shift. It seems to not really like whatever it's imbibed. <laughs> Brings us to Dun and Wijaya on deck. So, Dun saw Eros get swallowed. Yep. The, the only thing he thinks is I get, he has got to kill that thing as fast as possible. So he's gonna rush over here. Okay. And he's gonna throw the hammer twice. Go for it, yeah. Twenty-three hits. Yeah. This okay. thing is heavily armored naturally, but mm -hmm. that definitely connects. Same roll. More Same damage. roll. Fifteen twenty-four points of damage total, correct? Uh 11 and 17 is 28 damage. Uh, dueling style, I believe, is melee, is it not? Is it only melee? Double check it. Um, oh, yeah. Gonna check it. 
you can see as the two strikes impact it while you're checking um that uh you see look like you might have triggered it to try to keep its food down eat was back i owe us um uh, does not don't pass want its to eat save. old meat sorry <laughs> Launches Aeolus's slime covered form onto the ground. Uh, you're prone, Aeolus. Uh, make me a dexterity save, though. Um, it only says when you're holding a weapon, melee weapon in one hand and no other weapons. Melee weapon. So it would not, no. it's not n no dice on the, uh, the throne, then. Then it's just 24. 24. Uh, Aeolus making me a deck save. Okay. You're quick enough on the draw, Aeolus, to realize what's about to happen. Do you re let go of the dynamite? Yes. Okay. Aeolus appears without sticks in his hand. Well, shit! Jaya, around to you. Oh boy. I mean, you guys are not helping me out here by being all around it. <laughs> area of effect spells. That's okay. I, I, I did my Red best. Fire. <laughs> we heard this in Tyranny of Dragons. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Here uh, Seafried um, runs away, casts a spell, and then immediately gets tackled <laughs> by something. That's just, it literally that's tries to tackle you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like every fight. That's all, that's what happens. <laughs> um, I'm, um, yeah, I'm just gonna hit it with maybe an arc. Who knows? Okay, twenty-eight to Jeez. hit. Jeez, yeah, that hits. Um, six yeah. points of damage. Um, that is uh, half of your attack action. If you have enough movement, you can make a weapon attack as well. I think I do, because I do. didn't active blade song, so I have an extra 10. Yeah, so, well, yeah. You've, only, you've only moved 10, so you could get there, and then still have 10 feet remaining. Because you were here. I just really don't like it when you give me advice, because I know you want to kill me, so... Um, I don't but I am gonna, want I'm... to kill my players. <laughs> sure. Uh-huh. Hey. But yeah, I'm... I I am living proof he doesn't want to kill players. <laughs> yeah, that was not worth it. Not worth the flying, but I tried. <laughs> oh, because you rolled a two. Um, <laughs> uh, you have ten feet remaining. I'm going to scooch it, the fuck back. Yeah, right. it, doesn't have reactions. <laughs> it doesn't have reactions right now. Oh, no reactions. Like You're right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I come in use. I think you can move one more square back if you'd like. Not right? Because yeah, you have 10, ten feet. feet. Yeah. Siegfried with the bullet. Uh, I see Aeolus pop out conveniently enough. Um, Covered in I'm gonna, uh, Yep, I'm going to use my last sorcery point to distance spell. Okay. Um, uh, to cast a cure wounds on Aeolus. So let me check down the my spells like he's not even spending 10 feet of his movement to get close no, to you Aeolus. absolutely absolutely not <laughs> that's fine yeah absolutely not um <laughs> so cure wounds four feet level four not four feet but it is basically over four feet jeez there's uh, a roll and then um, um i i'm gonna send the chalice healing to myself 28 for Aeolus. yep Oh, that puts me back to half. Um, and then... <laughs> you're so... You have so few hit points. Yeah. I love it. All you need is one. And then this is to me. Yep. So that's six. So I'm at 76 now. And then uh, I am going to run from this one. Okay. <laughs> one... Two, three, four, Woo. five, six. There. Okay. That's my turn. The Bulette's turn. Um, its speed is zero. 
So it will do what it can do. Claws and bites. And a bite, pardon me, on Aeolus. Um, Let's go. Bite first. Um, you are prone, so it has advantage. Um, that is an 18. This is. You are not bitten. Uh, claws are 22 and 23. They both hit. Uh, 13 points of slashing total. Okay. Um, and then it is no longer affected by the blood curse. As we come around to Aeolus with Dun and Undeck. <clears throat> um, Aeolus is going to... He's going to grab the amulet of the Platinum Fang. And he is going... To, and the group sees this spectral maw of a Platinum Dragon just appear where Aeolus's head is. And this... For this breath weapon just erupts into the face of the of the creature. Just like Elden Ring. Uh, I love it. It's like okay. the, the, That's the, the really dragon. good damage, yeah. It's like uh, one of the dragon communion spells from Elden Ring. Uh, 27 and 15. So that's 43 points of damage total. That's a hefty hit. And then Aeolus is is just going to <clears throat> is just gonna pawn it so that it focuses on him. I assume you stand for this as well. Yes. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Anything else, Aeolus? Um No, that's it. Alright, that brings us to Dunnan with Jaya on deck. Well, I'm getting closer now. And I shout over to Olus. Uh, you left the sticks in there? Yes, I did. All right. How much time we have got left? I have no fucking clue. Perfect. Just like us. Never with a plan. Uh, 14 is not going to hit. Oh, you have advantage. I oh, this has oh we're flanking. So, yeah. Cool. That's gonna. Twenty nine will hit. Uh, now you get the dueling style, so twelve points. Yeah. Now I roll with advantage. And uh, eighteen just barely hits. Cool. Fifteen points. Another fifteen damage. Okay. All right. Uh, that's your movement and uh, action. Anything with a bonus done? Yes, I can't. Okay. Oh shit, or something with the bonus action. No. With the shield. I don't believe it's too large for you. Yeah. Because it's two, two size categories bigger than you. Then that's it. Alright. Uh, the end of your turn. Illis, I'd like you to roll me 10d10, please. <laughs> Lovely. Aeolus, Dunnan, Jaya, and Siegfried, I need you to all make me deck saves. Now can I shield master this? <laughs> you may. Damn. All right. Uh, no, Aeolus. There's a very small detonation that you hear. That's incredibly muffled, followed by. A so disappointed. significantly larger cacophonous explosion as the so creature's neck just behind those plates that armor its cone-like head just separate outwards. The You hear the spike of the head launched up into the ceiling as rocks start tumbling down on you and bits of armor plating flesh and bone explode outward in every direction. Um, uh, Aeolus, uh, you saved for half, um, so you take 32 points of damage. Uh, Dunnan, you saved, um, which lets you use your reaction to... Yeah. Uh, is it reduced to... Mitigate all damage. Negate it all. So Dunnan, you get your shield mm -hmm. up in time. Uh, yeah. Jaya, you saved for half. 
Um, you are far enough away that uh, you were starting at less than that. So, uh, Jaya, you take uh, 42, reduced by half to 21. Um, Siegfried, uh, you are far enough away that you take the 30, um, f but that is your full damage. I'm going to use Stone's uh, Resistance. Okay. Yeah, just get that. Stone's Endurance. Yeah, I, so, I knew which one you were talking about. Uh, so what was the total? 32? 30 for you. 30 total. Would reduce to 30, 21. So... Okay, so cool. Thank you and Jaya both took 21, effectively. Nice. Um, as the Bulet is exploded. <laughs> it's <like> dynamite. <laughs> well, uh, that worked out better than I thought. That was also very, very loud. No, oh, jeez. We need to we need to move from here. Uh, I go up to Aeolus, lift him up uh, yeah. with the, the last bits of my uh, chalice healing. But wait, um, there's parts of creature. No, no, no time for that now. But creature part. We have to meet. Uh, we have to move. We have to move, Aeolus. What? Sorry, ringing. Can you speak louder? So I'm going to do a, a fourth level Cure Wounds into Aeolus. Okay. That was a I'll terrible be... roll. <laughs> that's, um, that's, that's, a, that's a quarter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to Chalice Healing myself. Okay. 13. And then uh, I'm assuming that my Chalice fades away shortly after that. Yeah, it's 10 minutes unless you're doing yeah. anything else with it during that time. Yeah. As you move. So I, I just say, while I'm healing Aeolus, you got one chance to harvest anything, and we gotta fucking go. Aeolus just looks around and just walks past all all the planning. <laughs> he's... He's too fucked up. All right, the, the, the entire room is strewn with viscera. Yeah. <laughs> the head is still impaled into the rock ceiling of this room. Watch what you swallow, bitch. Uh, As he walks out of the room, I just, I, I, just, I, I put Aeolus on my, like, I, I start helping Aeolus go out. Like, I'm definitely writing a song about this. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as, I, as I look at the, the skull embedded at the ceiling, <laughs> like, I, you can, like confetti, I, yeah, pinata. <laughs> can we just, just do me a favor? Do not tell Tang. Oh, man. Don't uh, mention it. I'm glad we got you out because otherwise you're. Guts will be would be all over there too. And uh, we need to find a place to at least take a short rest. So come on. I had every bit of faith in you guys. Yeah, like um, you. Uh, you <laughs> headed back. I'm you. Oh, sorry. Are uh, you headed back in the direction that um you had entered into this cavern, this large yeah. cavern? Yeah. Are there there are no other ways in and out of here? Oh, there's one right oh, here, right? You don't know. Okay. I see. Yeah, so you can I continue uh, to spend time exploring the cavern. That's fine. I I, th I tell Dunn and maybe we should find a safe place to rest. But I I don't know. We back ways is the crystal, and there's things vibrating through it. If we go further ahead. We risk more enemies. I don't know. We haven't found any good place to rest. All right. I mean, we have to keep on exploring until we do, even if it's at the risk of encountering more. This open space is not very good okay. for uh, um, resting. Then uh, before we go ahead, I'll do one more cure wounds. Okay, before you're before you start exploring. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh, sorry, I did a level four and one level three. I uh, and then more off another torch as well. I am able to cure wounds myself. It's all right, but yeah, you go ahead and do if you want. This is also just to get myself some healing as well, um, uh -huh. with the chalice form. Um, so 13. that's thir thirteen to Aeolus, seven to me, and I, that's probably the last of the chalice. Okay. Uh, that's plus seven. So yeah, Aeolus, if you want to use cure wounds, go ahead. All right. All right, done. Leave <laughs> the way. All right. Oh, there you go. All right. 
uh, taking a glance into this room, Dunnan, uh, you see uh, the far wall is composed of two sets of uh, crystal structures. You see a tunnel, vaguely another tunnel beyond them, and it runs north-south. Um, but you see no other immediate exits from this area. Um, mm. There's more small piles of stuff here and there within this space. I, I guess I found the room to rest. Come here. Cool. It's just one entrance. Okay. Um, that would be good. Once everyone is in here... Um... Make me a survival check also, Dunnan. Okay. Oh, 20. Um, this would be a very v well defended room, in mm. theory, in the sense of only a single entrance, provided that nobody breaks through the crystal. But you will also be easily seen within this room by um, anyone that goes through that corridor. I, I, I can help with that, Dunnan. Well, do your I... magic. I am going to cast um, hallucinatory terrain. Yes, what level in is this that? area? That is a, a level four spell. Fourth level, okay. Yeah. Okay. What do you? I assume you are changing the nature of this room. Yeah. Uh, maybe just make these crystals less transparent, so people can't look through it. Is that possible? Okay. Um, so you're adding a level of illusion to this side of the crystals um, yeah. that looks like uh, they are set against a stone wall. Or that Basically. it's just a chunk of crystal and the other side of the crystal has not been carved away or excavated into a room of any type. Yep. Okay. And yeah. it lasts for 24 hours and it's not concentration. Alrighty. So that is set in place. Very good. Now, I guess we are safe to rest for now. But that explosion must be. I don't know. Somebody must have heard it. Well, we're going to have to double up on watches then. Yeah. How long are we planning to spend here? I mean, I could be okay with a short rest, but I know Shaya has been is a little spent at this point. So am I. I need. I think we need uh, a strength to continue. And they always they look like shit. You just got swallowed by uh, some big cre cre uh, creature. So you take it easy for now. I'm okay. alright. I can. I can watch the entrance for the first hit. Sure. And we'll, we'll double up too, so it's not just one person keeping watch. Yeah, I'll help you for the first half. And you too. At that point is shy and secret. You two should rest. Gain some of your energy back. Jaya can attune to her spyglass. Yeah. yeah. So, um, a group of you, it sounds like, are starting with a short rest and then go see how you can go from there? Yeah, let, let's, let's do that. Okay. And over the short rest, I'll, I'll for go my short rest and I'll, I'll ritually cast identify on the wand and the scroll if, okay. if we want. Certainly. Um, starting with the scroll, um, first 10 minutes as you guys are setting in, you don't seem to be interrupted in any type of way. Um, you, do identify, I, you do identify the scroll as a second level druid spell. Uh, this is a scroll of Embermend. Uh, oh! And I've just put the text of the spell there. The shit. Uh, so Siegfried is actually able to cast that of this scroll. Um, the rest of you are is, not. Is actually, no, I believe Aeolus is able to as well. Okay. Um, and it is on uh, Hellerast's sheet. 
my apologies. Yeah. So Hellerast, um, Siegfried, and uh, Aeolus. And Aeolus just because of your artificer levels, I believe. You're able to use any type of thing. I think that's an artificer feature. Yeah, I think if it's if it's of a certain school of magic. Yeah. So um, with, with the no. identification, we were able to successfully short rest. No, that's ten minutes. Okay, that's uh, never mind then. I'll tell you when never you mind. successfully yeah. short rest. Um, the next ten minutes, you are able to successfully identify this wand. This is known as an arcanist's scribing wand. Um, you can use the wand to scribe spells into a spellbook um, with half the amount of gold required to do so. That is seven charges. You can spend one charge to cast Comprehend Languages, um, only reading, not speaking, or Illusory Script. And you can spend two charges um, to cast uh, a Skyrite Cloud Script. I will immediately stand up, walk over, and hand the wand over to Aya. I think oh, yeah. this is better suited in your hands, and I'll hand the scroll to Siegfried. Is the Arcanist wand, that's the wand that Siegfried found, right? Yes. Okay, I'll remove that from my inventory. Well, thank you, Aeolus. Mm. I, I mean, you can hold on to that if you like. It seems like a spell you'd use. I'm not one for... for... It's okay. It'll it'll work better in your hands. All right. And I will post up. I'll load the star metal blaster and go into entry mode. I'm adding the Arcanist Scribing Wand, a copy of it, to uh, the your guys' currently unattuned various items section at the top of your party folder as well. I always roll me a d20. No. <laughs> I fall asleep. About 15 minutes after you sort of post up, everyone's still bandaging up, having some rations, trying to settle down some. Uh, you catch the sign, uh, the sound, not really sound, sound doesn't really travel that much, but um, the, the you just catch the movement, I'll say of footsteps uh, going past uh, the corridor off to the side of probably about a half dozen individuals uh, make me a perception check uh, some of them appear to be Maybe elves, uh, maybe humans, you're not quite sure. And then others were a little bit shorter in stature. Dwarves, halflings, um, but definitely not draconians, based on that glance. Did um, they appear to be wearing anything bulky, like armor? Uh, the... Double check. Uh, some of them appear to be. Uh, not all of all of them. Okay. Um, the the shorter ones seem to not be. Um, but the the human or elf elven individuals definitely seem to have maybe scale mail on. I will motion to the group that I heard individuals walking through the hall <clears throat> and I will lower myself down in a 
prone position and just focus on the entryway. Okay. A uh, group of you do complete a short rest. Cool. Nice. And as time starts to drag by, unless you hear sounds. Very subtle. No, I think dice will there, so you read. Yeah. <laughs> um, do they do they appear to be coming from the room outside? Yes. That'll hide. Well, hack the wall over there. I can cast Pass Without a Trace. Should I do that, Aeolus? You are presently under the effects of Pass Without a Trace. The, in the entire cavern is under the effects of Pass Without a Trace. Okay. Effectively. They will not stack. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. I will. Two effects with the I... same name will not. Yeah. Yeah. I will motion everyone to hunker down. And with all the blood and viscera that's on Aeolus, I'm going to slump against the wall and make it look like I am I am just one of the corpses. Okay. Um, where are the rest of you hunkering down? I'm hung I'm hugging the wall over Tom where I my top is. Right there. Yeah. Like real tucked in. Okay. Shy I have a you? Uh, I think Jaya is gonna fly up. Um, what's the ceiling of at in this room? About fifteen feet. All right, I'm gonna like fly up. And is there like a anything that she can perch on, like a crevice or like a little rocky outcrop? There's a an outcropping of crystal up here if you want to. Just try to rely on the darkness to keep you covered. Yeah, we'll do that. Like, okay. Should oh. we make stealth, stealth rolls done? Uh, yeah, I'd like stealth checks from all of you, please. Um, and then Jaya is about 10 feet in the air. 15, 36, 20. Sorry, I was just reading. Uh, here comes uh, stealth. Thirteen. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Aeolus. Aeolus, make me a history check, please. You hear a voice. Um, talking Aeolus. Um, as you're listening, uh, you feel your blood run cold for a moment. Uh, you recognize not the voice itself, as far as you can tell, but some of the sounds and intonations that you've heard previously. Uh, you've heard them previously used by a set of twins who you were particularly not fond of. Oh, <laughs> um, you see uh, one of the individuals in front holding up this heavy-looking crag hammer. Uh, raises it up, and you hear the sounds invoked again, and before... 
it sheds the uh, the crack hammer uh, illuminates into uh, a glowing head on the end of it, shedding light throughout the space. And the shout of alarm. Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys to roll into initiative again. Oh yeah. What? That's the second nat one on initiative I've gotten. <laughs> oh jeez. I'm on board with you. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's a many reds. Perfect. Okay. Oh, that's a uh, two extremes on initiative there. Oh boy. Depends. Oh no. Okay. Move these to the I also got a natural one, so it works out. <laughs> That's stuff. Okay. Uh, where is my music? There it is. Top of initiative, Aeolus, you realize that they have seen through your ruse. As you are currently prone, you said you were sitting down, acting like a corpse, so you're at the moment prone. I'm assuming Dunnan and Siegfried have pushed themselves up against the wall, so they are not prone. What do you do, Aeolus? Are they aggressive? They seem to be very much not fans of finding you here. Cool. You can make an insight uh, check if you really care to be certain. Maybe they're friendly. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, so, I ignore the loading property of, of this crossbow. Does that mean that with the action of shooting it, I can load it? When you shoot it, you can load it. Correct. Okay. I'm now, going to... Now, if you do the alternate version of the crossbow shot you do still need to do the load normally because that's a special loading right where okay. you fire all four of the pellets at once right um so i am going to load the crossbow stand defiantly aim it and i'm going to shoot a bead of force at this, at this individual. Be a force, sure. Speed of force. I believe that's a. That might be beads of force. I'm trying to pull it up in my journal. Yeah, so I, as an action, I can throw it 60 feet. And each creature within a 10-foot radius where it lands must pass a tech save or take 5d4 force damage. Okay. So that is... Oh, is it a so deck save? No attack. Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a save. So where are you launching this? Ping a corner. Um. Or draw an arrow to a corner. It'll be within this square. So right in between. Right here. Oh, it's a 10-foot radius, not 10-foot diameter. 
right there. Uh, I do not see where you're motioning. Oh, at. hold on. I might have been on the wrong layer. Yes. Right there? Yep. Ten foot. There we go. Ten foot. Uh, that'll get all of them. I'm just going to say that ten foot looked big. Big. Okay. Uh, so that is deck saves across the board for them, right? Yep. What's my DC? Uh, it is a DC of 15. Okay. The uh, three uh, dwarven individuals, as uh, so that is what they are. Oh. Ignore that. Sorry. Uh, t natural 20. Uh, 22. Natural 20. They are good. Um, and if they pass their push to ones at, and outside of it of their choice, or... Uh, how creatures does that, that succeed are pushed away from the center away from until the center. they are no longer inside of the sphere. Okay, gotcha. Um, the other two individuals uh, uh, gets a seven and a five. Okay. So this one's pushed there. This is pushed forward. Pushed forward. Let me grab a sphere effect so I can put it on the map. Um, it says a sphere of transparent force that encloses the area for one minute. Any creature that fails to save is com and is completely within the area is trapped within the sphere. Okay. Creatures that succeed are pushed away. Only breathable air can pass through. No attack or other effects are able to. Okay. So no AoEs in or out. <clears throat> right. Uh, neither can enemy creatures move through it. Lovely. All right. And it's Dang, ten foot radius. Good. Yeah. That's Great. an awesome item. That's a... <laughs> I yeah. didn't realize I could use it like that. Okay. Um really that is cool. uh your action to do that. <clears throat> right? Yep. Alright. Anything with the bonus of movement? Um I'm just going to move when I stood up, so I have fifteen feet. I'm just gonna walk here and just draw their attention towards me hoping that everyone else was able to not be as outright seen. Okay. And that's my turn. Big Freed, around to you. Okay. Um, Pale is moving, change my plan. One <laughs> I have to rethink what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, uh, it's okay. AOE, AOE come on. Um, Good at duck, so Let's see what I can do. I am so let me just see something. Um, a cone. Uh, that is not the cone. No, that is not the cone. No. So, cone, snap to corner, lock with yep. the height. Rounded. Okay. Rounded, okay. So I'm just trying to... That's the cone. Okay. So that's a 60-foot cone. It, there's nothing I can do with nail AOS either way. That's 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 okay, hit me. Um, I'm good. Well, you can't get the guys behind the sphere anyway. You can't pass through the space. <laughs> yeah. Um, Unless it's something that goes around corners, in which case it would go I'm over the top and then back down. Like yeah, fireball. I'm just going to launch a, a guiding bolt at this guy. Sure, go for it. And uh, with a bonus action, I'm going to also go into archer form. That's it. Burn the them wild shapes. Burn them. Yep. Then, uh, Guiding Bolt. Uh, 20. 
will hit. Nice. Um, 18 points of radiant. That was the close one, right? Yep. And currently wreathed. And are, are you spending it immediately for archer form? Uh, yes. yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. All right, go ahead. Comes the archer. With advantage. advantage. Yeah. yeah. Archer. 28. Eight also hits another eight points on top of that. Um, um, this individual is not wearing armor. Yeah. As these two strikes impact them, you see this form of their body just sort of take it as they try to push back against the effects that are um, struggling against them. They seem to be remarkably hardy for someone who is not garbed in anything. You're not sure if they have some type of natural armor and they're like this weird scale-like pattern that you now see is illuminated from your attacks on their skin. Um, they don't appear to be like the Draconians that you encountered previously, but there's definitely like this touch of Draconic nature to them. Okay. Um, and then with my, I'm just going to move with the last bit of my turn. Sure. Two, right. three, four, five, six. That's my turn. All right. It is the chosen turn. All right. Uh, the one that you struck will, um, heft a hand axe from their belt. And chuck it at Aeolus's head. Uh, 21 to hit you, Aeolus. Ow! Take six points of slashing damage. Um, uh, as just whizzes past you, uh, clips you, um, and makes a slow arc as they open their hand and pull the hand axe back through the air towards themselves. Um, and then they will charge. Uh, 20 feet at Siegfried, making two swinging attacks with their crag hammer. Natural one, natural one. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's them. Uh, the other one is going to, uh, hand axe and then two crag hammers on Aeolus. Um, hand axe is a 23 on you, Aeolus, for 6 points. Craig yep. Hammer gets a natural 1. The second one gets a dirty 20 for 6 points of damage. Okay. Um, that is their turn. Jaya, you're, you're not sure if you've been noticed yet. The space is now bathed in light, though. You're the only one that rolled really yeah. well in their stealth. Yeah, that's good. She's... She's fine. Uh... Yeah, Siegfried sneezed when they walk into the room. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's just, just a room full of Pippins. It's fine. Um, so she's going to fly over and then drop down. So she's on the other side, uh, flanking. And I'm just going to... 20... God damn it. Oh, you have Ugh. advantage. 26. So that's your first roll. So uh, right. 14 points on the first attack. 10. So, 24 total. 24 total. Another 10 on there. Two heavy strikes. Um, this one is starting to look rough. Um, however, it now gets to spend its reaction as you take your two strikes and deep cuts onto it. Um, it'll use Biting Rebuke. You took damage. Uh, you dealt it damage, so it will make an advantage Craghammer swing against you at a 17 to hit. Nope. Damn. All right. Uh, that'll bring us to Dunnan, I believe. Yep. And he's gonna look, and he's going. He's gonna move there, and I'm gonna let out a battle cry and use the second charge of the shockwave. Ooh, all right. Cool. So that's everybody of the enemies in sixty feet. Right. Okay. Uh, the bead, bead of force uh, blocks effects. So. Ah, it blocks effects. Oh, okay, no, then it's not useful. All right. I mean, you uh, can still do so. It's just... Nah, that's okay. stupid. No. Then I'm going to flank with the oldest and attack the one in front of me. Okay. With advantage, right? Yeah, advantage. Yeah. 
<laughs> 15 is not the recipe for the day. That misses. Uh, they managed to parry it. 24 will hit for 17 points of damage. And you feel this presence in your mind. Punish. Um, they will use... Uh, uh, pardon me. That one will use Biting Rebuke on you. Mm -hmm. um, and make a Craghammer at 24 to hit you. Yeah. Uh, nine points of bludgeoning reduced to six. Okay. All right. Um, that's both your attacks. Uh, some of your movement. Anything else? Can I bonus attack, bonus action, push it? Knock, try to knock him prone. Yeah, sure. Yes. Athletics contested. Athletics. Ugh. Uh, they get a twenty-two. Rolling hot today. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Then. All right, that'll bring us to the ones trapped inside the space. Uh, did they take damage for the beat of force, by the way? Yeah, look. I believe they do. It's 5d4 damage. Yes. If you could roll me 5d4 when you have a moment. Four. 11. Okay, let me mark with them. Uh, the first one will attempt... Wrong stat block will attempt to launch a radium bolt against the side of the thing to no effect. The second one uh, will sort of put a hand on their shoulder. Uh, I imagine you can hear through this. Air passes through, right? Yep. Um So, the second one will intone some words um, and uh, it will as your you're looking in the correct direction. Make me an Arcana check with disadvantage because you're currently engaged to see if you recognize the spell that they're casting. Nope, you don't know. They cast a spell. You don't see anything take effect. That's it. It will surround you. Aeolus <clears throat> is going to... On in. Back up to the edge of the sphere so they can't move forward. And I'm going to take two sway with uh, 17 does hit. That's You have advantage. You're flanked at the moment. So that uh, is nine points. Uh, 26 hits for 9. 18 total. Then I'm going to, as my bonus action, Star Metal Blaster it in the face. Nice. <laughs> uh, you do not have advantage, but 17 just hits, because that's the ranged weapon. Uh, and that is 10 points. Successful turn for you. A nice change of pace. <laughs> I'm actually doing things. <laughs> um... Right. And that's it. Okay, that'll bring us to Siegfried with the uh, Chosen on deck. Okay. Um, I'm going to swing at them with the uh, Primal Savagery. Okay. You have advantage? Yep. Primal Savagery. Jeez. Terrible crit, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 11 points damage. Yeah, it's a cantrip. And then... um. Do I get the benefit of flanking for my archer attack? You do not. It's a ranged attack. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So um, it's the same I reason Aeolus doesn't get it on the Star yeah. Metal Blaster. Yep. Yeah. Just uh, so I'll just do a disadvantage archery shot at. Okay. Um, You're not well, gonna. Well, if I if I do it at the other guy, am I still a disadvantage? You or? are because an enemy okay. spent five feet of you. Yeah. yeah. So against the one that's next to you. Yep. Against the one that's next to me. Certainly. I'm just a uh, shoot an archery shot at them with disadvantage. That was a good disadvantage. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who cares about disadvantage when you roll like that? Uh, yeah. Eight points of damage. That one's looking pretty rough. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay. Uh, that'll bring us to the Chosen. Um, uh, who will turn... 
No, uh, you're the one beating into it. Um, it's going after you to create all of its attacks. Uh, hand axe, crag hammer, crag hammer. Uh, 14, 24, 17. I believe, just I believe the, 24. The, 20, just the 24 hits. Yep. Right, eight points of bludgeoning damage from that uh, the business end of the crag hammer. Okay. Uh, the other one is going to... Still going to go after uh, Aeolus. You, you just did more to it. Um, Let's go. Uh, hand axe, crag hammer, crag hammer. Uh, 18, 23, and 10. 23 hits. Six points of bludgeoning. Um... Yeah, these guys probably fight better as a cohesive unit, not separated two out from the rest of them. <laughs> We're on to Jaya. We've done it on deck. Who bats with him? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a great use of the force, though. I feel terrible. Oh, 15? Uh, 15, no. Yeah. But 25 is good. Uh, 10 points. Uh, that one is still standing, which means it gets to use Fighting Rebuke on you. 26 to hit you back, Jaya. Yep. 8 points of bludgeoning. Uh, bonus movement, anything? I'm gonna stay here. Okay. Uh, Dunnan with the Blessed on deck. Oh, trying to finish that one off, I guess. So one attack. Yeah. Advantage. Well, this one's still doing better than the other one, but yeah. Uh, 27 hits, uh, 16 points. Very good damage. Still standing. Yeah. Hopefully we will try to bash it. Push it down. Uh, try to knock it through. 18. Athletics. Roll athletics, please. Thirteen. You knock the chosen to their knees, and I'm gonna bring the hammer down on it. Yep, advantage still. Uh, Twenty-one hits. Uh, they are barely holding on. Uh, it's 20, Twelve points of damage. Uh, both these individuals are looking pretty rough. Uh, you see the other ones. Uh, the taller. Elf, human, half elf individuals that are trapped inside the beater, just sort of watching. They've realized they can't do anything at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and, both of them are going to cast a spell. Uh, Aeolus. Wait, I wanted to move because Aeolus said I have to move away. Oh, yeah, go for it. Where did you want me to go? Sorry. Uh, Aeolus instructed you to put your pack through the wall. Yeah. Um, done an additionally, um, you hit it, yeah. so you are, uh, it does clap you back for, uh, 26 yeah. to hit for 11 reduced to 8. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, now we move to the ones inside the, uh, cube. Uh, I'll you can give me another arcana check, if you so choose, as they cast more spells. You're not sure. Uh, they're, they're both... Involved in casting and speaking through in a language you do not recognize. You just recognize the sounds of it. You, you don't understand it. You recognize the sounds of it. Um, from your history. But that's it. Aeolus, top of the round. Um, I'm going to take two smacks at this individual. Uh, 17 hits, 27 hits. Uh, 6, 15. Uh, they, that is sufficient. How do you finish this one off? <clears throat> um, using Vergasive? Yeah. Yeah, this is the first time he's using Vergasive as a weapon. So, I guess, like, he just... He... Hams the exposed geode into their chest, and you just watch as, like, the natural energy of Aeolus and the item just pulse, and the creature just falls over. 
like using the business end of a like a, a grinder as you tunnel into this thing's chest and leave them dead on the ground. Um, and then... One moment. Uh-oh. There's an effect. I need to check on the effect. I would like you... Oh, never mind. You don't get a save. Um, you, Jaya, and Dunnan are all within 10 feet of this as uh, you kill it. As you break into it, there's this slight fracture in reality for the briefest of moments before there's this snapping sensation, like a thunderclap that is coalescing into an infinitesimally small point. Uh, and the energy ricochets outward before dissipating once it passes a certain radius. Um, all three of you take seven points of force damage and are coated in raspberry slime. Reddish. There's no chunks. There's no bits of bone. There's no scraps of armor. Nothing. You are coated Aeolus in slime. Aeolus's eyes light with electricity because he's heard of this slime before no i would not recommend actually tasting it's just the color okay okay <laughs> has become well, a sick fruit um well with his bonus action he's gonna fire our metal yeah uh that is uh nine points of damage that one is barely holding on. And now it's Siegfried's round. Uh, another primal savagery coming in. Go for it. Uh, that is sufficient as uh, you tear into this one, a similar effect happens, um, and you and Jaya both take eight points of force damage. As this one turns into slime as well. And it's just coated across the ground here. Anything else, Siegfried? Uh, I am just going to move to get a better view of these guys over here. Sounds good. That's my turn. You see more words exchanged and. Two of these individuals dash off out of sight. Jaya. Can I shout something as my reaction? Sure. <clears throat> Hit the sphere as hard as you can from this end. Now. What? With like a sword, or do you want a spell? Unsure. <laughs> I think you cut. Yeah, you, you cut off for a bit, Sam. But I think you meant hit it. <laughs> I, 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 as the player, am unsure because the beat of force reads that that the sphere can be moved because it only weighs one pound. Regardless of what's inside of it. Mm. So... If I used Mage Hand to push it, would that work? Because it's only a pound, right? You could. You could try Although, uh, yeah. where the sphere mm. is, I don't know if it'll move freely. You did wedge it into the opening there. I did, but...
Ugh. This seems silly, but yeah, she's gonna try to push it with me. Yeah. <laughs> you push, and there's a. It's wedged into the stone there. It's not going anywhere. Sorry, love. Does this run out eventually, or do we just. Fades after a minute. I believe, yep. right? Mm. Yeah. So it's a Mex Mexican standoff right now. Yes, no. it is. <laughs> um, uh, I assume uh, Dunnan, you're still holding position here. Hammer well, up. Well, I'm writing an action. For right. if it drops, I'm gonna throw the hammer at the, okay. at that one. Gotcha. Um... All of you paying attention can now also roll an Arcana check. That's not a disadvantage to see if you could discern what spells they're casting. I have a feeling. Checks out. Uh, Jaya, uh, you recognize it just from your own experience. It's not one that you personally mastered, but one that you've seen and you're familiar with. Uh, Aeolus, you've seen this quite a number of times after bothering your um, feathery companion to do it many times. Yep. They've cast sure Sending. Bitch. And uh, I think we'll pick up at the at when the bead of force is dropping. I assume everyone's holding things, so we'll decide that next session, but we'll pick up at that point as the oh. bead of force is about to drop. Yeah. Oh, O10's oh, gonna Boy. be angry. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I might not be able to join next week because I have family visiting, but I will let you know um, okay. a few days before. But, yeah. Thank you. GG, everyone. Yeah. Put them in a beat of force where they can't be counterspelled when they try to cast sending. That, that bullet oh, fight God. probably went as best as it ever would have gone for us. It was a very cool bullet <laughs> fight, yeah. yeah. That, that was I, sweet. Uh, I fought a Beulet in another game, and it was honestly one of the hardest monster fights I've ever been. And then with your modification, this is probably going to be even crazier. Oh yeah, that was a great <laughs> yeah. Beulet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. So a, I'm just, Beulets was in a, general are already like really one. hard. To, yeah, already brutal. Yeah, no. already dynamite. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> Alrighty. Always am. I. <laughs> I just imagine. If Sam died there, we wouldn't have had this wall. He was—he was gonna have—he was not gonna get a save inside of the thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. then Dunnan deals enough damage to cause it to risk vomiting. It has a plus six on that save, and it only has to get a fifteen, and it rolled a three. <laughs> Incredible. Well, you're lucky. Sixty-four yeah, damage would have taken you down. I think Aeolus, correct? Oh, well, that, that, I, yeah. That, that, that's yeah. his whole HP, right? Sixty-four. Like, I, I, yeah. I that that would have put me over half. Yeah. Of, of my it would have well, just well, you don't, you don't. No, you you only insta die when you hit okay. your full HP negative. What well, would be your full HP negative? So if you have a hundred hit points and you're at one, and you take a hundred and one damage, you die outright. Okay. Right. If you have a hundred hit points and then you take two hundred in a single swing, you die outright. Thank you. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> If he had, like, any death saves, he would have been dead, so... <laughs> no. Um, I mean, the trigger was at the start, at the end of Dunnan's turn, because that's when yeah. it was lit. So, <laughs> like, th there's the trade-off there of the Bulet goes before Dunnan, mm -hmm. so Aeolus would have taken bludgeoning and then acid damage in the stomach, yep. which yep. could have triggered death saves. It yep. depends where he was at, so... When when I entered the stomach, I had like twenty three hit points left. You might, <laughs> you might have gone down. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, I I sixty six. Yeah. 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 So like it is. It's I'd have to roll really well, but oh well. <laughs> it's okay. We just we just won't let other Sam know. <laughs> She's gonna know. That, that She's gonna know. <laughs> I just next week. Yeah, yeah. See you next week. <laughs> Bye, Bye guys.